Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to clean the objective lens on this C-Star S50 Smart Telescope. Now there are kind of two schools of thought on this. There's the um, never ever clean the objective lens school and there's the clean it if there's the slightest tiniest speck of dust on it school. Now I'm kind of in the middle of these two schools. I sort of really only clean my objective lens if there's a reason to clean it. And the reason will be if there's something on it that could damage the surface, could damage the coatings on the lens. Now, mainly the sort of things that would cause that sort of damage are anything with an acidic content. So we're talking about things like fingerprints, uh, maybe tree sap, some sorts of pollen, um, bird poop, obviously, if you're unfortunate enough to get some of that coming out of the sky onto you. Um, and sometimes even dew. Uh, if it dries on, you know, some watermarks can be a bit acidic. I think that kind of probably depends where you live. If you live somewhere where there's a lot a lot of acid rain, that, that could be more of a problem. I have to say, personally, I haven't found dew to be too much of a problem. And sometimes I've left dew uh, dried out on lenses for, for months without any real noticeable harm. Anyway, that, that's the kind of thing. So you really need to think about what is on the surface of the lens before you decide whether to clean it or not. If it's just a little bit of normal dust or dirt, uh, then to be quite honest, it's it, it's probably going to do more harm than good to try and clean it off. And the main thing to really bear in mind is before you ever try and uh, clean anything off a lens is you've got to make sure there is nothing abrasive like bits of grit or sand or anything like that on the lens before you in any way touch it. Uh, so we'll go through the whole process of how to safely deal with cleaning a lens. Uh, and the next thing I'm going to discuss with you is the materials that I like to use uh, for cleaning the objective lens on the C-Star S50. First up, we've got this uh, hand air blower. You can buy these on Amazon, something similar to this for a few pounds, a few dollars. Uh, next, we've got uh, Kimtech uh, Delicate Task Wipes. They're kind of laboratory wipes. Very good for uh, if you need to soak up uh, residual fluid, uh, like you get too much fluid on when you're trying to clean the lens and you might need them. Generally, you shouldn't need them, but, you know, they might come in handy. So it's always good to have them available. Um, you can just, as an alternative, just use plain white Kleenex. Uh, that's what a lot of people do. Uh, next thing, we've got this um, residual oil remover, which is a, a very high quality cleaning fluid. Um, it's a very small bottle and it's pretty expensive, but it does last a long time. And I found it really to be the best stuff um, and I've tried many different things over the years. Next thing is these um, Zeiss uh, lens wipes again easily obtainable on, on Amazon and finally we have the uh, the KNF Concept microfiber cleaning cloths uh, again these are designed for polishing lenses really uh, and they're very very soft and they're very good uh, and I tend to just use them once really and then throw them away. Okay, so that's the stuff you're going to need. Now let's see how you use it. Well, as you can see, we've got a little bit of dust on this lens, but this is a kind of good example of something that wouldn't normally worry me. So that just gives you some idea. I just would consider that to be you know, certainly not going to cause you any kind of issues and it, you won't see it. It won't affect your image quality or anything like that. Uh, the main reason is because anything on the actual surface of the lens can't possibly focus uh, onto the image sensor in any case. So anyway, that gives you a good example. That, to me, is a perfectly reasonable amount of dust. I wouldn't be worrying about that at all. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, hand blower and we're going to give the lens a really good blasting off with that.
Now, normally I'd probably tilt the, the whole thing further forward than I've got it here, um, just so that the, the uh, dust will tend to sort of fall down. But uh, just so that you can see what I'm doing, I, I'm gonna just leave it in this position. So we give it a really good, a really good blasting and that's it. That'll be fine. Just have a quick look at the surface, uh, make sure we can't see anything. Yeah, no, I can't see anything particularly there. That all looks pretty clean. So, incidentally, um, you know, there's no harm doing that occasionally. If you've got a bit of dust on the lens, uh, then there's no harm giving uh, using the hand blow just to to remove the dust. That that's probably much better than trying to clean it, do a full clean on it. So there's no harm in doing that at all. Okay, so uh, next thing we're going to do. Uh, we're going to take uh, we're going to take the uh, Zeiss lens wipes. So I'm going to open one of these up. Just take it out the packet. Then what I'm going to do is just to sort of scrunch it up into a little a little sort of bunch like this. Then I'm just going to basically dab the front of the lens like this, just gently. But I'm not rubbing it, I'm just literally dabbing it. And if the lens was very dirty, then I'd keep going to a clean bit. You can even use it inside out, but I just keep moving around. So I keep doing that and just keep dabbing it. Again, I'll just take a clean bit. Say if it was very, very dirty, then I would do, just do one little section at a time and then rotate it to a different part and then do another little section. In this case, this lens is so perfectly clean that really it doesn't matter, but that's what I would do. And the idea is I'm not sort of, I'm not sort of rubbing it around because I, I want to remove anything that could be abrasive from the lens before I even think about uh, sort of polishing it in any way. And really, I'd use several of these, depends how dirty it is, but I'll do another one. Again, I really probably don't need it. This lens is pretty well spotless, but never mind. So, just do one more. There you are. And then what you can do is, as you start working through this, you can just use little rolling movements, which will help to lift off the dirt. So a little rolling movements and you just work your way all the way around. Now, just keep going, that's it. And now you keep doing this until you're happy that you've really got all the worst of the dirt off the lens. And at that point, I would go back to the, the little air blower and give it another good blow. That's it. Okay, and the next step would be uh, to take the microfiber cloth. Here it is. So I'm just going to open that up. So we take that out. Again, we can just bunch it up then I'm going to take some of this uh, the residual oil remover spray here it is I'm going to take some of that I'm just going to put a couple of little sprays on the cloth always on the cloth never spray stuff on the lens uh, the reason for that actually is sometimes if you get too much fluid on the lens it can get sucked down the side of the lens it could even potentially get inside the lens and we don't want that so we try not to get the lens very wet if you do get it wet that's when you can use the uh, the kleenex tissues just to sort of dab it and soak up any residue but anyway two little sprays of this so and then we're going to just do very very gently little circular movements Again, you can, if you want, you can, uh, you can put a little bit more on and you can use different areas 
of the cloth, little clean areas, and just keep going like that. Then when you've done that, you find a, a nice dry part of the cloth. There you are, I think that will do. A nice dry bit, and you just very gently, little circular movement, polish it right to the edge. Just give it a quick final blast off. And that's it. And hopefully now we've got ourselves a nice um, clean objective lens. Let's just have a, a little look. It looks pretty spotless to me. And that's how you clean the objective lens on your C-Star S50. Okay, well, I'm going to keep this short and sweet, so I hope you found this video useful, uh, and I hope to see you again soon, so take care of yourself, and bye for now.